hi, uh, thank you for coming. And um, we, before we talk about uh, uh, the, my presentation, I would like to mention to all of you guys something very close to my heart. Um, Debbie Vincent was sentenced, sentenced last year to six years in prison for her campaign against HLS. And at the moment, she is uh, having a hard time in the prison, and I will do appreciate it for all of you guys to remember all our prisoners, which they are in prison forever because they're supporting the reason why we are here. And there is a table on the main uh, hall about to write a letter to the prisoner. If you can do that, I will appreciate it. And Debbie is the only prisoner in the UK at the moment. I said she got six years in jail, and if you can write a card to her, I really appreciate it. Another thing that's very close to our heart is a support for, for Sven and Natasha. They are facing 15 years in jail in the UK for, for their campaign against HLS. And it's a campaign which uh, they didn't do much activity. However, by UK law, they are facing 15 years in jail. And if you can all please remember, support our prisoners. They are very, very important for our moment. They are there for one reason. <laughs> uh, I'm very stressed. I'm very stressed not because I had to do this presentation, because for over a year I've been suffering burnout, a stress about uh, being an activist. I've been an activist for a long, long time. And for the last maybe 18 months, I didn't do a lot. I really enjoyed uh, doing a couple of months ago a research because I was doing a research by myself. I was locking myself into the library and I was happy to search uh, uh, some intersection work taken on the animals. But I refused to go out and to do any demo, to go to see people because I didn't want it. I thought so the all thought it was not nice. I didn't feel good and was still not feeling good. And I thought so when we we decided to do, to do a conference, I decided it's a good way to try to tell, to talk about this problem. It's a problem that every year affects many activists, not only on animal rights, but in every social moment. And if we lose, carry on losing people, we cannot save lives. And that also is very important that we recognize an issue within the moment and we try to do something about it. What is a burnout? It's a state of mental, or emotional, mental, physical stability. When you burn out to stress, you lose concentration, and you cannot do a lot. It's something you cannot avoid it. And it's very important to recognize when people go stress or burn out, because we cannot do nothing, and we're losing, we're losing. We need help everyone. If we didn't lose people during the years, our moral was huge. Unfortunately, during the years, we keep losing people. And like myself, I went out by the moment. I didn't do nothing. However, I think it's very important that we do something about it. And we, we need each other. It's very important that we support each other because without us, we cannot save a life. Our movement, as you imagine, could be very stressful for the campaign we're doing. We go to the farms, we go campaign against the section, we're doing circus, we, circus campaign, we go to inside factory farm. And we, we see a lot of stress. Stress animals, animals being killed, and all these things that they affect, I believe, affect myself and affect everybody. And um, people get stressed seeing all these things. And it's very important that uh, we, we recognize and we do something about it. Things where we can see the, the problems. Dif One of the biggest problems on, di on difficulty to make a decision is a sign, it's a small sign we are stressed. Fatigue and boredom is another issue. Growing tendency to think negatively when you are pessimist. I've been very pessimist until maybe two minutes ago because I think we are not achieving anything, we are not thinking the moment is not doing great, 
I can see problems in different campaigns. And that is a very sign of uh, an issue where I have. Abusing drug, drugs and alcohol. I don't drink, I don't smoke, but a lot of people during the years, we see them losing out the movement. Really good friends, really good people that were working for the animals, and we, we lost them because they start drinking, they start to take the abuse, them, and they lost. We lost them. They're not coming back. It does is an issue. Trouble sleeping. It's a sign of something no right with us. And loss of appetite. When you're not eating well, you, you eat vegan junk food, or you try to, to avoid lunches or breakfast, it's a sign of, of an issue. And dif difficulty in relationship is another issue. I don't mean we all suffer the same thing, but there are small things where they can be a sign of stress. Now, direct action. Direct action, I believe, is one of the problems we, we're facing every day. Uh, without uh, direct action, we cannot save a life. And sometimes, sometimes our campaign go in the wrong way and we lose out. It's something we need to remember because uh, when we start to see something going wrong, we, we lose completely our path. I was listening before the talk of Sharon and it was very, very motivating. And they're very focused. And being stressed, you lose your focus. And if you run a campaign and you start losing your focus, all the campaign go down, down the drain. And it's very important that uh, by ourselves, uh, we recognize when there is a problem. When you see someone uh, think a little bit differently or things tiring, I think as, as a moment, we need to go to the person and say, that, look, I, I think you need to take a break. It's not to be criticized to tell someone to take a break, but it's important that we recognize when someone is doing something all right. You know, we know that we saw a lot of people doing great things for the animals, but sometimes we see that maybe start losing a little bit of concentration or see some doing things different. That could be a sign where they're not actually focusing. Sometimes it's better also stop doing what we're doing and taking a break, a break. It's very important that during direct action, we also take time for ourselves to relax, to enjoy our life, you know, remember, we cannot take a direct action 24 hours in a day. We are not soldiers, we are not machine. we are human. And it's very important. We need to look after ourselves. And I think, I think if we can help each other, it helps the animal at the end, at the end of the day. I'm, I'm not, uh, you know, I'm just an activist. I'm not uh, uh, a medic also. What I say there, I say there what I experienced during my life. And we need to think about it. Think so, we should do. No feel guilty with any interest outside the morning. Sometimes I see people being criticized because they want to go to see a football match. And I think we should do that. We should allow people doing things that they like to do it. If other people are stressed out, they make others stressed too. Remember, don't stress more people. Yeah? Don't make people feel guilty for anything. If your campaign is not working well, ask why. Take action. Don't blame other people. Don't put pressure on others. I saw it during my, my years of campaign, really people slamming other guys. Campaign is not doing good. You're not doing good. I think we should avoid it. Yeah? I think it's very important if you do a campaign, you do an action or you do a protest to get some feedback. But avoiding, you know, being rude with the other, blaming, blaming someone for not running a campaign properly. Sometimes it's better having one willing activist than ten unwilling. Remember, if you feel confident, if you feel happy, you can produce a lot more. If you bring 10 people with you, they don't want to come with you, they don't bring a lot, a lot. Yeah, remember, 
the best source we can get out of ourselves is one we are happy and one we are very concentrated on what we're doing. Yeah? It's a, it's a fact of life. Whatever you do, not only for, for animals, but on your life, when you feel confident, when you're happy, you can achieve a lot of more stuff than when you're upset or demotivated. This is a problem where I found, I found a lot in our movement, not only on animal rights movement, in any social justice movement. We got always someone telling someone, you have to do this, you have to do that. No one in our movement, in any social movement, has the right to tell the others what to do. I don't agree. Yeah? I think it's, it's a part of, of life that you can be happy. You are too many sad faces here. You should be happy. Yeah? We should fret. Re remember, it's a fact of life. If we are happy, we can achieve more. So what I would like from you, to go to the person behind you, on the front of you, introduce yourself, and have a chat for 10 seconds. Introduce yourself. Start to know each other. Come on, guys. Come on. Oh, bring some cheerful. Okay, thank you so much. Hello, it's not street dating, yeah? Now, yeah, okay, stop, stop. Now, exchange the the couple in front of us, which have been very cheerful all evening, all of you were very depressing. Now, you can see how the things changing when we are happy, yeah? It's very important that we do our campaign for the animals in this manner. Being happy, be effective for one thing, animal liberation. Very good, thank you very much for your time. <laughs> don't feel negative, yeah? It creates a dominant effect. You don't get upset only you, by your, your friends, your neighbor, your relationship, whatever. When you're negative, everything is falling down. Especially when you do campaigning, your campaign can be lost if you feel negative. Never feel negative. I'm very pessimist, I have to be honest, but I, sh I should improve. And I hope when I go home today, I can see I remember you smiling, being happy, and you motivated myself. Accept your friends for what they are. Don't waste time in forcing people, improve yourself if, uh, if people will follow you. Again, it's a self esteem We need to improve ourselves, we need to do something for ourselves. When we are happy, everybody will be happy, everybody will follow us. We need to show an example. And we, if we don't show the example, we are not going nowhere. Show compassion, style, and others will follow you. We are compassionate people. And it's very important we, we carry on like, like, like that. We, we are happy with everybody. We help our friends. When I say the helper, it's one thing. Don't help people happy to help oppressor. Yeah? In, in the moment, we need to remember, before I forget, we need to remember at the moment they start to getting uh, too many strange people in the moment. People are happy to oppress others. When I call others, I mean so we got uh, fascism, Start to get into movement, uh, almost 40, yeah? Was the right, right? Yeah? Never work with them. Hit them out from the movement. Don't work with them. So when I try to help each other, avoiding these this groups, push them away. Don't let them be in the movement. Yeah, do you agree? <laughs> we are compassionate for our friends. We support human and animal liberation. Otherwise, we don't win. Spend time to make people feel better. This is very important. Go to your friend, tell why they're doing something good. Always, if you praise someone, the person will respond to you much better. Person will work 100% more if you tell the person you've done something good. Yeah? We always be positive with your fellow activists. Don't waste time challenging unwilling people. Sometimes if people don't want to do the things, they're not happy to do maybe a campaign, or they don't feel confident. 
Don't force them. When you force someone, people will never respond to you. Little victory counts. We don't, we don't need any little victory. Again, I'm, I was in Washington last month, and I was talking with people from Canada, and they told me, well, Tino, very good news from the UK. They go, the government stopped fox hunting. I said, it's very good news. I said, it's not very good news. They postponed the vote. That was my mistake, because I, I didn't want to acknowledge a small victory. Now, we need to remember, we don't win every day. Yeah, we got small victories. But any small step forward could be a success. And every time we do something good, like they do in Brazil, we do a lot of movement, it's something good, something we should be proud of, or proud of what we're doing. Yeah, if, like Sharon said, you know, if we give a little thing out, we know little can change people, people human life. So it's something good, yeah? And all these are small victories. They, they, you no, know, you are here for one thing, because you want to win, win animal issues. And be proud, be happy, it's a small victory. Be happy for anything you're achieving. You know, if you do a demo today, or if you do a protest, or you do an education stall, it's a victory. Because you are changing, you're changing someone's life. Remember, don't be negative. When you go to a stall, you may be able to change someone's life. Yeah, you can talk with a person. That's a small victory. If a person stops talking with you, it means the person is interested. Person maybe want to change. I classify as a victory. Yeah? It's important. Keep it as positive, all these things. History also shows the movements going up and down. Yeah? It's something we need to bear in mind. Things that we shouldn't do, it, and it's very, very important. <laughs> Drug, sorry, sorry the spelling. It is true. You know, you can take any drugs you want, but doesn't change anything. And also, drinks. Yeah, it doesn't make any difference. You may be happy for five, ten minutes, or, and then tomorrow morning you wake up with your hangover. <coughs> yeah, it doesn't help a lot. Avoiding all these things. And remember, you, you are the most important per person. Things we should do that. Remember to drink too little water. Yeah, we never drink. We drink too much coffee in here, which is very bad. Walk out, take a break, walk on the countryside. Tonight, everybody walk to the camping site. Yeah, it's an exercise, it's important. And try to be fitness, eat veg, fresh food. And something, I think, as a movement, we should do that. Uh, in the US, they, in defense for animals, they date also with a, a huge problem in the movement. And within their association, they create, they create an info line, which they open nearly every day. Every day, there are people there waiting for call for people, from activists, uh, asking them support. And talking with them, because I was talking with them a couple of weeks ago, they found this very useful. It's a lot of people calling them. I think as an organization, if you run a group, it's something maybe you can put on your group, something like that. It can help not only the people working with you, but everyone else. Uh, now this is in the US, based in the US, so everybody in the US can follow that info line, they're opening nearly every day, and someone will talk with you. It's not me, but we do some professional people. And I believe that so with all the groups we got around, uh, uh, you know, around the world, there will be always someone in your group able to communicate with an activist and tell them something good, listen to the story, and help them. If people got problems, sometimes they feel they go by themselves. They're hiding themselves in the nutshell and they don't want to get out. I said to you at the beginning, I didn't get out from home for years. I didn't do nothing with it. Yeah, because I didn't feel secure, I didn't want to do it. But if I got an info line or got someone able to listen to me, it can help me to go back at the moment. And I do hope that uh, if you run a group, you start thinking to put something on your group to help activists. Because when we lose them, remember, they don't come back. Yeah? Do you agree with me? Good. So next time, George, when I come back, I would like to see something also in Venice, because your group is doing some great work. And I have not much to say to you guys, but I think it's nice if you, we can talk some stories of what you, you thought during your campaign <coughs> and you find these problems. I'm not one, I don't, it's not here for me to do a, a, a much presentation, but it's nice for you guys to talk to each other 
to talking about why we got the problem and find a way maybe we can help each other. You know, I have no solution. My solution is to try to tell the people if there is a problem to say, that, listen, I think you should to take a breath or maybe you are, I can see you're a little bit stressed. Sometimes it's better for people to get out from the moment for a bit to get, to, to get better, to do something different. I ask them to, following them, I asking them to come back and try to, you know, to follow them. Don't leave them alone, or, but to follow them, carry on listening to them. It's very important. I would appreciate, you know, from you guys, what your thoughts are, if you had experience one out, and if you think that it will be something where you can help each other. Remember, if we don't help each other, there's no one else who wants to help us. We cannot afford losing people. Yeah, remember, you remember, you know, we were, I went to England in 1987. A few years after, I went to an anti section demo. There were nearly 20,000 people. Honestly, there were 20,000 people. In Italy, for the Greening campaign, I'm Italian, there were up, up to 10,000 people. If you go now to an anti session, maybe demo, you find 100 people. Yeah, this is a problem. Where people giving up, people lose passion, people lose motivation, and they walk out. And one thing I need to remember, a lot of people chant, what do we want, animal liberation? We want animal liberation now. I think we cannot expect any victory now. We cannot say we want animal liberation now. We know that we are not going to achieve it. And I think that we should be very careful when we tell people something coming up very soon. Because people, young people, or people coming to the movement, if you tell them we want, we're going to win a battle, we win a campaign. It's very difficult to win a campaign, you all know. And I think uh, to tell the people something is achievable, something will be winning in a short period, is the motivating people. And when people start to see we are not getting nowhere or we bang their head on the wall, people will walk out. I have not much to say, but I will appreciate it if you can maybe have a word or say something about and maybe find something. Thank you. Anyone stressed like me? Yeah, just come over here. I'll keep you, keep you company. Do I, talk? I don't know. Yeah. Yes. Hello. Uh, thank you very much for your presentation, Tino. You know. uh, this is my first time here in, the, in this conference. Uh, it's a kind of celebration because I'm making this year 20 years as a vegan. Uh, and. Uh, <laughs> oh. And uh, I decided that. Uh, I had the need to make not just an, an update of my uh, convictions as a vegan, but also uh, the need to open up to, to other persons and uh, to hear new, uh, new uh, life stories uh, involving animals and activism. Um, I, I agree with uh, all, all you, you said up there. Uh, I think, uh, um, Lex, uh, at, 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 at least in the first stages as vegans, lack a lot of humility to most of the people that defend animals, unfortunately. Um, um, we, in Portugal, we, we have a kind of subtitle to, to persons that are uh, very oppressive in their veganism. We call it Nazi vegans. <laughs> or angry vegans too. Uh, uh, it's not that not, they are not good persons or good activists, but they end up uh, isolating themselves from all the others because they are too demanding uh, with themselves and with everyone around, around them. Uh, of course, I understand uh, the, the principles, the ethics, all the ideas, uh, all the need to defend those ideas, but um, uh, in, with the, uh, that 
statement uh, made daily by them, they end up losing uh, at activists around them. Um, what I can say more? Uh, I think is, uh, it's very important we are aware of the evolution of our vegan condition. Um, I think time brings moderation, brings wisdom. Uh, at least that's what uh, I've been feeling in my years as, as vegan. Uh, I, I learned that uh, the change has to come from me, uh, from uh, inside me to the, to the outside, not imposing my options to, to the others. If they, if they are open, open up uh, to that, they will come meet me and ask for information, ask how, to do, uh, how, how they can change, how, 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 how much, the, or what they can learn from me, or, uh, or uh, stuff like that. Um, what more? I, I think it's uh, uh, important to be always aware and, and have people around us that work as mirrors, because most of the time we lose some uh, the, the contact with reality. Uh, uh, I try to, uh, to be as much as possible with no vegan persons, <laughs> so that I don't get too much out of, uh, of the earth, uh, because that, that's the only way of gaining new, new uh, vegans, new activists to the vegan, to the animal cause. Uh, otherwise, we live in our universe, our perfect universe without animal products, and we, we think that life is, is only that. Uh, and we are living a lie, basically. Um, thank you very much once again. Thank you. I would like to say something. <laughs> thank you. I would like to, to adapt something. I was talking before with, um, with Julia, an activist, and she came in. She said, oh, last year, after the conference, I went back home and I was very motivated to do something. However, after soon a few, few, few weeks, she lost her pass and she found the motivated. I think you need to remember, we are now, for the next four days, we are in a little bubble. Yeah? We are all happy, we are all confident we are doing something, we are happy to be here, to see each other, and we think we're going out, we're going to do a lot of energy. Yes, we got to, we're going out with a lot of energy, but don't put the energy out in one day. Keep the energy to spread over, you know. Don't last your workout to burn out in one day. Try to keep it for weeks, months, and years. Remember, today <coughs> and to Sunday, we are different world. Yeah, we don't see all these too many issues, but remember, when you go home, the life is different. Yeah, try to take your time for yourself. Don't expect too much out what's happening the week after. Yeah? Don't burn out yourself straight away. You don't expect your expectation to make it too high. Yeah? Try to work out slowly, slowly to achieve it. One, one thing I also would like to add up about infighting. For past experience, some of the people making problems with doing the campaign are people not to do with our campaign. But the people come infiltrated the movement. And what they're doing, they're doing best, huh? It's to give problems to each other. So what they're doing, they try to think the things we are suffering or burnout, try to make issues within, uh, within the groups. This is happening quite often. So try to recognize if there is a problem, if someone uh, maybe could be a new person, start to make problems within your groups, start to come up with different things, it could be an infiltrator. Don't get paranoid because it, it stresses you more, but maybe have a, a chat with the person you see a person behaving a little bit different, you know, have a one-to-one -one chat, they see what's going on. Sometimes uh, these people are very good to infiltrate the movement and make our life very, very difficult. Anyone else would like to share a nice stories? Yes. Um, I was just wondering if I could actually ask a question. Um, so I was wondering, you said you've experienced burnout before. Um, was there something, like a particular aspect to your campaigning that you felt contributed to that? And if you had to take some time out because of this burnout, was there a kind of strategy you had when you got involved with activism again to kind of slowly reintroduce it to your life? No, I got, uh, I got really stressful because um, I, I, went to comp I went to challenge someone supporting a fascist, fascist vegan people. 
And uh, I've been, uh, I've been slammed because I was challenging a fascist or a person pro supporting fascists. Because they said, oh, doesn't matter if the, the, the vegan coffee is run by pro fascists, it's something for veganism. And I thought I do prefer challenging a fascist before an animal rights, an animal oppressor. And because people start to slam me down, I thought, well, I want to get out. I don't want to be involved. This is a personal issue. It's no more a campaign. But sometimes I think when you're right, if maybe a camp if a campaign you don't go right, a lot of people maybe get stressed and demotivated. So was there something when you started doing activism again, did you change your approach to activism or, or do something to protect yourself from it? Yes, I, I, I changed it. And I said at the beginning, what I've done, I tried to do a, a research work for an anti vivisection group, which the research work was done by myself I, I was locked into a library, searching books. I, I, I didn't see no one else. I didn't want to see no people around. I was concentrating on what I was doing because I was doing something good for the animals. You know, if you, do, if you go to the library and you study something, you're still an, you're part of an activist. But I didn't want to see people. I didn't feel confident to go to see people. And even these days, I'm not happy to see some of the people. I find it very difficult. I do prefer going to away from UK to do a protest or to do something that actually do in, do in England. Why is that? Why? Yeah. <laughs> Be because uh, I, f because uh, I, f I think people talking, when people talking about, uh, about you or what you're doing, I, I, felt, I felt no right by myself. Do you, do you find it worse in the UK than in countries doing it? I'm not saying UK, I just pay pay generally, but I, I, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, 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 yeah, I, I think. I, I don't know. I, I, don't, I, don't, I feel I don't want to see the people. I, I, I try to avoid the people. It's a personal choice. But I don't know. Everybody can be different. But I do prefer doing the things away from home. Yeah? And that's it. And I cannot change my, 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 my feeling. If I'm anti-fascist, I'm anti-fascist. And, and you cannot tell me that a, a fascist can promote a veganism. I don't agree. And I will stood up on that. Yeah? Very good. Thank you. No more guys. Anyone else got a nice story? <coughs> yeah, please. I have a question about what you said in the presentation. You said you should not uh, tell people what to do or what to mean by this. Well, other yeah, that. okay. I, I, is it good to discuss uh, what is effective, what is maybe ineffective for uh, some yeah, people? No, yeah, my, okay, you, you're very right. My, my idea was. Uh, was to, to have, a, on, in each group, to have a, a, some a leadership program where someone will be in a hierarchy, yeah? Someone will tell you people, you do this, do that, I'm, still, I'm the boss. This is what uh, I mean. We shouldn't tell, uh, we shouldn't not be two boss in the group. The group has to be, uh, I believe, so each group should be talking together, discussing together how we want to move forward in the group, but not having a person which believes is the number one, and then you go number two, there are groups in the US that to get very, very famous. They think they are very famous, but they're getting all this, this, uh, this sweet. There's a guy on the top of the ladder that will be number two, that will be number one in a city, number two in a city. And that's the way the, this, these new groups are thinking animal rights should be. I don't agree on that. I think uh, as a campaigner, we should be all working together. Maybe in a small group, we don't want a huge group of people, but someone has to make a decision within a small group of people, and not uh, someone taking over and say, I'm the boss, you do A, B, and C. I think uh, you know, George is doing a great work. He works with, uh, with a lot of people working together, and that's the way you're supposed to work. Remember, some of the young people that can come out with a good, with good, nice story, they can help a lot to listening people, but put your, to tell the people what you think and not let them Talk, I think it's bad. Yeah, some new people can come up with good different story. Yes. Thanks for that. I'm gonna share three things today. Like Just come over here so people can listen to you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, entertaining. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. 
No, I don't know. I just thought I share three things that really are important to myself, and I guess if I share them, it can also help others. It's nothing new, but the first thing that I wanted to say is that we should not forget that we should have fun. Like when we're doing demos or direct action or things that we just also should, as you, as you said, we should laugh and not only be too depressed. I mean, of course, like the reality is horrible, and we re if we really face it, we could just kill ourselves. And and I mean, it's it's, tr it's true, and a lot of people do, and it's very sad, and we also do a lot of people to depression, etc. But I think it's very important to have fun and also to not take ourselves too seriously, in the sense of that when we think that the whole responsibility of the world lays on our shoulders, and if we don't do it, how who will do it, etc. And this is also kind of an arrogant and elitist thought. Right, like, oh, we are the chosen ones, we have to do it, etc. And if nobody, if we don't do it, nobody else will do it, which is not true. I mean, there's so many other peoples in the world and they also, they also do great work, so it's not all about ourselves. And the second thing, which is really inspiring to me, is to prisoner support, as you already mentioned, like writing letters. It's so important for the people in the inside, like behind the bars, and it can also be so inspiring for ourselves if we write letters and then we get a response from any person who is behind bars, from any social justice movement, we can learn so much from them. And it's just a, such a great feeling to feel this connection through just a small thing like a letter. Yeah, and the third thing is also connected to that, that we should also like build bridges to other movements and we can learn so much from feminist or anti-racist or whatever movement, then it's not all about non-human animals. Of course, like everything is interconnected, but we can also learn from others and just, yeah, be um, engaged in other movements that, that in, in the end we can all enrich ourselves. That was it. Thanks. Thank you. Next, please. Okay, if nobody would like to say a story, I will, um, I will, um, I will um, thank you for, for coming. And I do appreciate, I, I do hope you don't get stressed. And if you see your fellow activists losing a bit on the campaign, losing motivation, start to feel uh, the sign of burnout or stress, please try to help them, yeah? Remember, we are compassionate people. <laughs>